Right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Wednesday, March 27th. It is set by Picaroon. Let's see what we have. Dealing with awful peril, Scotland's first responders. The awful, I'm thinking, could be an anagram of peril. That's only five letters. Uh, Scotland's first would be the S, I suppose. Um, but then what would responders be? But maybe it is the initial, does Scotland have its own fire and ambulance service with some initials that we would put after the anagram of peril and it's going to mean dealing with I'm not sure, not seeing anything there. Uh, car part gets very hot. That's about right. Hmm. Uh, so very can be V, hot can be H. Do we put some car part around V, V, H? I don't think go well together. Maybe it's a short word for very hot. And then, hmm. But we also have something about right could mean that we put, maybe we put very hot, a word, a five letter word for that. And we put it around an R to get a car part. Oh, so many possibilities. Not doing very well so far. Cash back for item. Oh, in all other across answers here. Uh, so this is similar to the crossword we had, was it last week, with middle names in all of the across answers. So there's going to be some common um, something in common for all of the acrossers. Uh, what would cashback change or note? Oh, maybe it's a word for cash that is reversed. And it's going to give some item that's in all of the other across answers. Well, if it was note backwards, it would be eaten. And maybe it's going to be schools of different types. But there can't be enough famous schools to go around. Uh, no, let's move on, but it would be nice to get that one. Maybe one flying. Header from Silva, as well as Haaland. So I think it's going to be maybe one flying, as in a traveler or a tourist or something like that, or aeroplane. Header from Silva is going to be the S, I think. And then Haaland, what is his, uh, the Man City player, what is his first name? Oh my goodness, why can I not think of that? Uh, let me pause and look that up. Uh, of course, it's Erling, E-R-L-I-N-G, Norwegian football player. Um, so, but what, yeah, we're going to need more. So maybe it's going to be S and then something that means as well as, which I suppose could be two. Um, as well as Haaland and then end in Erling. What, um, there's probably some very obvious thing, maybe one flying. Oh, well, I'm thinking of a, a starling, a bird, is it? A, a, yeah, um, or a type of airplane. There can't be too many words that fit that. Let me pause and chew on it.
Ah, yes, there is a, I think it's a shorebird, a uh, Sanderling, S and Erling, as well as. Okay, good to finally get one. Uh, let's try some downs. Note, chap, going around memorial. Uh, it was, sounds like an anagram of note, chap. Oh, <laughs> what's that um, war memorial uh, where the... The monarch lays a wreath, uh, the cenotaph. Good to get another one. Uh, Paris match, or Paris match, articles about travel company. Uh, well, I think articles are usually just the part of speech, the, a, or an, and Paris match is just telling us to use the French articles but they have to be turned about. And if we reverse le and la, we get el al, uh, a travel company, the airline. All right, so this does look like it might be an anagram of awful peril. Oh, and I'm thinking it's going to begin rep replyers, I suppose. Oh, um, yeah, how could it be the Scottish dialect word for first? Dealing with, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let me think about that. Well, I think it must be repliers, but, um, ERS, Scotland's first. Yeah, or could it be, uh, maybe Scotland's first is the final S. Dealing with. Oh, uh, could it be IE? No, no, the I comes from peril. So it's the ER. Yeah, mm, oh no, it's, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is the ER at the end. I don't fully understand, so hopefully 15 squared will set me straight on that. Oh, and now our cash back for item. Oh, yes, so looking at repliers and sander ling, I can see we have tools. So we, uh, the cash is loot, and we turn that around. Oops, uh, cash back. And so the theme today in the Across Answers Anyway is tools. Hopefully that will help us. Let's go back to the downs. Tough puzzle, a stunner, inspiring ecstasy. Well, ecstasy is usually the letter E. And inspiring means that we put the, this other part inside another word. I wonder if a tough puzzle could be a teaser. How does that work? Oh, a stunner is a taser, and then it inspires or takes within it an E for teaser. All right, main event. It's possibly holding football team back. So I think we're going to have, ah, so I think it's going to be a hidden clue backwards within main event. It's possibly, uh, so knowing we have the S and the N, no, that doesn't quite work. Yeah, so I don't think it's a hidden clue or not a straightforward one. Assuming the S and the N are right, but I think with the tools, I think they have to be. Well, what, what, can't be too many something S, something N. Would have to be a, a vowel before the S, unless it's a silent P, but I don't think it is. 
No, let's move on. Sea boss working last in shipyard intensely focused. Well, C boss is seven letters, and if that's working or being anagrammed, and then we have the last in shipyard is a D, definitely suggests we're going to end in ED for a word that means intensely focused. And we have three S's, a B and an O. How about obsessed? I think that's right. Ooh, that now gives us uh, a B to start with. Um, I was thinking of a, a banger, it could be a car, but if it's a car part, oh, the bonnet maybe? No, because we don't have any R in that. Now oh, there's no tool inside it either. All right, let me go back to the down. Biden half intoxicated, gulping large drop back. Ooh. What could um, Biden half intoxicated maybe suggest we anagram half of Joe Biden or half of or maybe we anagram the word half and it gulps a large, maybe it gulps large. Oh, and I wonder if the definition could be drop back mm -hmm. as in fall, fall something, drop back, fall behind maybe. Oh, because I, yeah, oh, yeah, so I think it's, um, an anagram of Biden half, which uh, gulps an L, because we need one extra L. Yeah, I like that. Note what E.G. Gloucester manufacturer uses up. Uh, E.G. Gloucester well, Gloucestershire is a, a shire or a county, but manufacturer uses up. No, not seeing it. Ooh, no, it's this car part is B something A. Oh, I uh, brakes, of course. Uh, so it's bakes as in gets very hot. And it's about right. And in this case, our tool is just a rake. Simple as that. All right, let's return to the across. Subsequently, catching start of Hollyoaks are frothy soap. Uh, so subsequently would be later. And it catches the H that starts Hollyoaks, and it gives us a lather, frothy soap. Improperly picks up girl, stopped by judge. I think it's going to be a word for improperly. And then is it a girl's name? backwards or maybe it's a word for picks up girl um something like scores or something well i think i prefer and girl's name backwards and then it's stopped by which usually means you put inside it a word for judge uh no i think i need more for that Finale of Platters hit the Great Pretender. Now, well, we had the Old Pretender the other day. Um, who's the Great Pretender? Well, it's a song, of course. Was it by the Platters? If it is, that's uh, amazing. 
But I'm thinking finale of platters is an S. Notice there's no apostrophe platters hit. And so then I think it's going to be a six-letter word for hit. Um, I hope it's not hit itself. Um, and it's going to mean the great pretender. Ooh, no, not saying it. All right, let's try formal notifications of commercial failings. Could it be a double definition? Um, otherwise, could there be wordplay commercial? Oh, commercial could be an ad. And then formal notifications beginning with ad advises. Oh, advices. Um, the failings are your vices. I like that. All right, how about this may keep a loafer in shape? Oh, what do you call the thing you put inside a, uh, a shoe? Not a shoe horn helps you get it on. There is a, that wooden form. Are these supply? Oh, I think it's, uh, yes, it's an anagram of are these. That has to be supple, so it's supply are these, plus an E for energy. Oh, what is that leaving over? Um, shoe tree, I think. Is that right? Springs a bell. That might be the word I'm thinking of. All right. What accountant has mishandled German banks. Well, we've seen before where banks means take the outer letters of the previous word. So that would be a G and an N. Ooh. So I'm wondering if we have a D there. Could be um, D-I-G-N. Maybe what accountant has is the definition and then a word for mishandled hmm german banks what does an accountant have that might end in gn hmm i'm not thinking of it No, maybe it's a ing word. Uh, let's try 18 down. Interpreters for one film screened by lovers once. Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking the definition is going to be interpreters. Could that be something G N N hmm, not sure. Uh, one film film is sometimes E T because it's a nice short film name to use in wordplay, but I don't think it's gonna be E T G. Oh, for one can be E G. So maybe it is Egg? Eggheads? <laughs> I don't think it, interpreters are eggheads. Let me pause and think about... Oh, also, what is screened by lovers once? Suggests something that lovers used to do? Yeah, I'm not sure. Of course, an egg... A duck egg can be a zero, and love in tennis is zero. Uh, let me think about it. No, I'm not thinking of anything uh, appropriate that is eggy. Um, although I do think EG might be right for one film. 
but no, not saying a word for interpreters. Uh, let's go back to the crosses. Fighters say, in arena thrashed with poles. Um, fighters say, thrashed maybe indicates an anagram, maybe of in arena, that's only seven letters. And with the poles, maybe we add N and S, but that still only gives us nine. Um, but maybe it's just arena plus the two poles plus the word say. Now let's move on. Uh, jump on ice in lake to the east of ditch oy, oy, oy. there's a lot in that for a four-letter word i'm thinking it might just be a word for jump ice in lake <laughs> i mean lake okay could be an l Ice, I don't know, and then the east of ditch might be the H. I don't know if I've seen this before, but I can uh, understand how the east of a word might be the letter on the right. Um, on ice in lake. No, not saying it. Uh, pollute Cheshire River with a lot of stuff in it. Is there a short, excuse, <coughs> excuse me, is there a short Cheshire River that we can <coughs> put, excuse me again, a lot of stuff inside it? Let me pause and uh, drink some water and think of, uh, maybe I'll look up some Cheshire Rivers. Well, Cheshire does have the River D, which I can see being very useful for uh, wordplay, because I think within that D, we're going to have to put a three-letter word for a lot of stuff, and it's going to mean pollute. Ooh, I can't think of a, a word at the moment. Let's look at this 21 down. Attended to clothing of Hermione Edwards. Well, I think the clothing of Hermione is like the banks of German, although I may be wrong on that, but I think it's going to be the outer letters, so the H and the E. And then we're going to have something for Edwards, it has to be past tense. Oh, well, I think attended to must, oh, yes, attended to is heeded, and so it's Ed plus Ed, so it's multiple Edwards. I was thinking, how can, I was thinking of a word ending in S, but that couldn't be the past tense, but that's how they did it. I like that. Uh, let's see what this Greek writer, oh my goodness, so yeah, there are Greek writers beginning with H, Herodotus, um, but it's going to be a longer one, pocket, oh, maybe it is the Greek writer on the outside, pocketing ring for the ear, Ooh, creating excitement on Lesbos. Um, so that actually might be the definition. The creating is telling us that all of the wordplay before, you're going to get something that means excitement. Of course, excitement could be an anagram on Lesbos. Lesbos? How do you pronounce that Greek island? Um, Oh, I wonder if it could be 
I'm thinking of excitement could be hysteria or something, some form of hysteria, histrionics. I, the Lesmos might just be telling us it's a Greek word. Huh. What is a ring for the ear? Of course, we want to put it together as an earring, but maybe a ring is an O. And then a word for the ear could be aural or something. What's another ring for the ear? The ear hole? The... Ah, no, I'm not seeing it. All right, I've been jumping around a little bit here, so uh, let's finish the last across. Oh, and of course, I need to remember my tools. I don't think I noticed that lather has lathe and advices has a vice and shoe tree. I think it's just hoe as a garden tool. All right. It's small bird with red bird's tail getting yanked. I think it is going to be a small bird as the definition. Now, maybe we take a red bird's name and yank its tail or take away its last letter, but I think it's going to be red R with then another bird's name without its tail. What birds can I think of beginning with R, eight letters? Robin Redbreast, Rooster. No, not seeing it. All right, I think I skipped over some of the downs. Um, enlisted soldiers turned up extremely loyal in dire need. I'm thinking it's going to mean in dire need. We're going to start with enlisted soldiers, probably some abbreviation, and that's going to be reversed. Extremely loyal, I'm thinking are the extreme letters of loyal to L's. Oh, I'm th now wondering if it could be enlisted is the definition because we have to put the two L's inside something. So then dire need or in dire need is not the definition. But enlisted, I can see enrolled seems to meet, meet some of the wordplay. Uh, so I think, let's see, soldiers turned up, extremely loyal, I put two L. Uh, in dire need is saying to anagram need, and we get the E-N-E-D, and therefore our soldiers turned up are, um, oh, what's the O-R? So the something rangers, but that's turned up to give R-O. All right, oh, here's our interpreters. Familiar, Scottish eminence, hosting king currently. Well, king currently would be CR, so I think CR is going to appear in this. Now, it could be here, although that seems an odd ending. Uh, I think, therefore, familiar will be the definition. What is a Scottish, a Scottish eminence? Now, that can be, of course, a eminent person, but I think it's more likely to be a mountain. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, a mountain or... Wait a minute, how did I have an R there? <laughs> oh yeah, the, yeah, that's how, the red. Um, but that may not be right. So let's think. 
think, darn it, uh, a Scottish eminence. This is just a, a general word. Uh, ben Nevis. Oh, Ben, of course, could be a Scottish eminence. Familiar. Let me look up synonyms of familiar. No, I'm not seeing a good synonym for familiar that might fit. Now, I am, of course, reading King currently as being CR, but it might just be hosting King and then a word for currently, like noun, now. Oh, how about, oh, renowned doesn't fit. Uh, be nouned. <laughs> no. All right, taking time off, I suggest we wait to find out who rents a property. That's an awful lot of that, and the surface reading is quite natural, taking time off. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense, but taking time off, I suggest we wait to find out who rents a property. Hmm. Of course, a one who rents a property can either be the landlord, the one renting, or the tenant. Um, could it be tenant? Taking time off, I suggest we wait to find out. No, I'm not saying that. How about uh, Boeing is required during Elgar Concerto? Ooh, could this be a hidden clue? Yes, so there is a term in music for a kind of uh, string bowing, Arco. Um, I used to know what that meant, but I just know it is a term. Um, so... That may help us. Ooh, now we're in jump on ice in Lake to the east of Ditch. Begins with an A. Oh, and it's going to include a tool. Well, there can't be. It's going to have to be a very short tool. Could it be an all? A W L? Jump on ice in lake. No, I still have the same problem of there's just so many words in that for a simple four letter answer. Now, our small bird with red bird's tail getting yanked. There is a C. Can that be part of the tool? I think it probably is. Um, red bird's tail getting yanked. No, not seeing it. All right, what other ones, what other acrosses have we got some letters from? Fighters say, in arena threshed with Holes. No, not seeing it. Improperly. Oh, picks up, of course, could also be a homophone indicator. So maybe it sounds like a girl's name. But then I think it still will be stopped by a word for judge or maybe just a j but that seems unlikely with the letters we have improperly let me pause and think about that one ah i thought maybe it's actually improperly picks up because miss hears fits the letter pattern and the girl is a miss, 
and it is stopped by the word hear. So if you judge a case, you might hear it. I'm not a crazy about that synonym for judge and hear, but that's uh, that's the way it is. All right, now our main event. We're not going to get any more letters. It's possibly holding football team back. Oh, I can see we have M and N. So I wonder if it could be Man U that is backwards. I think the cryptic mystic mentioned the other day he's a Man U fan. So, oh, a tsunami, because it's an anagram of its, its possibly, which holds the football team back. Oh, and a main event, the main is an old name for the ocean. So an event that happens in the ocean is a tsunami. Ooh, that's very tricky to define it that way. All right, note what e.g. Gloucester manufacturer uses up. Oh, now isn't Gloucester a type of pottery? Or China, is it? Um, and so it might be what a Gloucester manufacturer uses up, meaning backwards. Um, a note could be a musical note from A to G. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one. A tenor. Oh, so a banknote for ten pounds is a tenor. Oh, and I think there is a word rennet. Let me uh, look that up. And of course, Gloucester is not pottery, it is cheese. Oh my goodness. And so rennet is a complex set of enzymes produced in the stomachs of ruminant mammals. And it's used to make cheese. Uh, and that's backwards. All right. Possibly should have got that. Well, the top half is more or less done. It'd be nice to get my Greek writer pocketing ring for the year. Well, if it was going to be something like hysterical or hysterics, no, I'm still not seeing it. I'm going to go, go ahead and reveal this one. Homoerotic. Ah, wow. They were defining lesbos in the, uh, the scent, the common cultural sense, I suppose, uh, the island of lesbians, but um, I was not expecting that. Uh, so our Greek writer is um, Homer, and Homer pockets a ring, so it is an O, and then O-T-I-C is for the ear. Oh, I think that might be an adjective instead of, I was thinking, aural, A-U-R-I-L. I think it is otic, yes. And I think we've had it before, so I, I need to start remembering O-T-I-C, otic, erotic, depending on probably what part of the world you're in. All right, so now our finale of Platter's hit, The Great Pretender. Oh, I think hit might be hammer, and A Great Pretender would be a shammer. I think that's right. Let's uh, check it. It is correct. Uh, let's try and get this 23. Fighters say, in arena, thrashed with poles. Oh, well, maybe it's an anagram of arena and poles. Let's try that. Yeah, when I see poles, I automatically think of the N and S, but... Um, 
and it's going to be fighters. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be something planes. Oh, could it just be aeroplanes? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, and so it's a funny definition fighters say. Well, that's just one type of aeroplane, but there we go. But I suppose it went with the uh, wordplay. All right. What is our pollute? Uh, Cheshire River. Now our lot of stuff has an I. Oh, I wonder if it could be uh, stuff as in force cram stuff into a small volume. And we have a lot of that word. Hmm. Ah, yes, yeah. so um, I paused to think of words that could fit, and I thought of defile could be to pollute, and it's most of the word fill, which could be stuff. All right, we're nearly done with the bottom left. Let's just get our familiar Scottish eminence hosting king currently. Well, with that N... It's, um, oh, so I wonder if it could be a king, could be Ed, could be just R for Rex, and currently could be now. Um, and if it is Ben, B E, oops, uh, B E, is there a word for noun? I don't think there is. Let's check it. Ah, uh, no, is it be known then? How about that? I don't think I've ever heard the term be known. Must be a very archaic word for familiar. We do have our Ben. Ah, uh, the king is K as in playing cards. The king and currently is now. I was close, but I just... Uh, I suppose I just don't know this word be known. All right, we're getting there. Oh, we have a nice, oh, so it's not. Ah, I think it's small bird and width is just the W with red bird's tail getting yanked. Oh, how about yanked as the definition so you do all of this wordplay and you get a word for yanked i'm thinking of a wren um and then c h e d well hold on i think i'm using the w twice for with <laughs> yeah so i think that may not be right but let's check it it is right, but I think I'm misunderstanding the wordplay, uh, which I have a habit of doing. Small bird is wren with red bird's tail getting, with red bird's tail. C-H-E-D. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting that, so we'll have to rely on 15 squared. Now, I think, oh, I'm thinking of uh, less C. I suggest we wait to find out. Yes, yeah, so it sounds like let's see, but you take the T off for time and you get a homophone for let's see, and it's who rents a property. All right. Now, what accountant has mishandled German banks? What accountant has... No, I'm not seeing that. Let's uh, reveal it. A ledger, of course. 
Ah, so let's see the wordplay. I think G-E-R at the end is the German. What accountant has... Oh! It's actually just a hidden clue without within mishandled German. Ledger. Ah, so banks there. Yeah, I think... Nine times out of ten, it's going to mean the outer letters, but this seems to be the one other time. All right, now could this be... Oh, um... Isn't there a word exegesis? And so maybe there's... Interpreters... Mm, Exegesis? Is that a word? Ah, oh, very close. Let's reveal it. Exegetes. So I think it is a form of the same word. Uh, let me just check that. Yes, an exegete is a person skilled in exegesis, an interpreter. And the wordplay, well, sure enough, I think... Uh, the uh, the film is E.T. Oh, and I was right about for one being E.G. So for one, film is E.G.E.T. And that is screened by, or surrounded by, lovers once are exes. So the E-X-E-S goes around the outside. Oh, boy. All right, now our jump on ice in lake to the east of ditch um, yeah i'm not sure even still i'm not sure where the definition is i'm wondering about the tool might simply be an axe so ditch you have to ditch something, maybe is to axe it. How about axed? Let's check it. No. Axle. Oh, yes, oh, of course. Um, so I jump in ice skating, I think, like the triple axle. I was not thinking of that at all. But of course, that's the, the obvious way to read that jump on ice. And then Lake L is to the east of to ditch something is to axe it. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So file was there. Wrench. A plane is a tool. An edger is a tool, I think. A vice. Hammer, of course. Uh, shears. Oh, yeah. And I think I saw the other ones we looked at yeah all right uh, let's check all nothing else dropped out so i think we're good to go over to 15 squared uh, today's blog is by peter o excellent and intricately constructed puzzle with a theme good number of envelope clues all right i think there were just two acrosses i wasn't completely Ah, so of course, dealing with is re, as in business correspondence, um, plus the plier anagram, and then the Scotland's first. So yeah, I just complete. Oh, I think because I was thinking the first re was part of peril. Um, so yeah, I just don't deal well with when the same letters appear twice. And then the other across 26. Ren. Ah, oh, J is uh, the uh, Guevara is the red. Um, plus the bird's tail is simply a D. Ah, simple as that. I think I got all of the others. There's the tools very helpfully highlighted for us. Thank you, Peter O. <laughs> okay. 
Um, looking at the clues. Ah, Pretender, two days running. Yeah. So these things just happen. All right. Well, that was uh, tricky, but not impossible. And I did enjoy it. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.